Hey K-popers and welcome back to Hallie You. This week we're talking about Pristin, a girl group that I was so ready to bias before their abrupt disbanding in 2019. We'll start their story by looking at their very unique double pre-debut eras, and then we'll see how their involvement in their own music led to some great early success. Next, we'll talk about what happened to cause the group to suddenly stop making music, and finally, we'll see where the members have since gone while reminiscing a little bit on what could have been. Before we get started, I want to quickly thank Hallyu's honorary producers. If you want to show off your bias group here, share your picks in weekly videos, and join a vibrant Discord community with watch parties, custom emoji, and more, all you need to do is support Hallyu on Patreon. So Pristin's story has a pretty interesting beginning because there were almost two pre-debut eras in a sense. In the true pre-debut era, there were some pretty notable cameos made by various members in their label mates' MVs, going all the way back to 2010. Seriously. Shein appeared in a lot of different MVs, starting with when she was just a child as one of the dancers at the start of After School's song Bang. She also appeared on her own in Orange Caramel's Aying, while the entire group can be seen on the stage in Orange Caramel's song My Copycat. And Anwu, Rena, and Kyo Kyung all made cameos in Seventeen's Manse music video too. And then we get to pre-debut phase 2, because 7 of the 10 members joined the inaugural season of Produce 101 to represent Playtest Entertainment. Nayoung, Kyokyung, Roa, Unwoo, Yuha, Rena, and Shiyun all participated in the show, with Nayoung and Kyokyung both making the final roster of IOI. This of course meant that they would be committed to IOI promotions for an entire year, and so the other 8 members took on the name Playtus Girls in March of 2016 to continue pre-debut activities. Playtus Girls released their debut song We on June 27, 2016, a song that was written by Roa, Unwoo, Sungyun, and Shiyun, as well as composed by Unwoo and Sungyun. The day after their debut, Sungyeon also joined the vocal showgirl Spirit, where she competed alongside female idols like Oh My Girl Sunghee, Lovelies K, Speakers Bo Hyung, and others, and gained invaluable experience in becoming a main vocalist. Playtest Girls also routinely released dance covers of songs like this one of Seventeen's debut song Adore You. They even held weekly concerts over the summer of 2016, with their final show as Playtest Girls happening on January 6, 2017. Finally, with the IOI promotions finished, Nayoung and Kyokyung returned full time and all 10 members were together ready to debut, adopting their final group named Pristin, a combination of prismatic meaning bright and clear, and elastin meaning flawless strength. On March 27th, Pristin officially debuted with the mini album High Pristin in its title track Wii Woo. This song was such a fun and energetic bop from the girls, but more impressive than that was the fact that every single song on that mini album was written and composed by the members. This level of involvement with their music is pretty rare in K-pop, especially among girl groups, and it really speaks to the musical talent in the group that even from their debut, every song was self-made by Pristin themselves. As part of their debut promotions, they also released a remix of the B-side Black Widow and promoted it for about a week, again asserting their skills and influence on their own music. Pristin was quick to make their first comeback as well, with another excellent mini-album, this one being called School Out and featuring the title track We Like. We Like is another great high energy pop track, and you really have to hand it to the girls because obviously it's a great comeback, but also the song is really full bodied and well composed. Unfortunately though, Kyla ended up being injured during filming for We Like, and she suffered a concussion. As a result, on October 12th, Playtest announced that Kyla was going on a hiatus and temporarily returning to the United States due to health issues, though unfortunately by not specifying the issue it allowed a whirlwind of damaging speculation which was all untrue. Pristin went dark for an entire year after We Like, after which Playtest announced the formation of a subunit called Pristin B. This subunit is made up of the members Nayoung, Roa, Unwoo, Rena, and Kyokyung, and they were fierce. The subunit debuted on May 28, 2018 with the EP Like a V and its title track Get It, which was a hard-hitting song with a bad girl image. The girls also dropped a video for the B-track Spotlight off of the album, where they slayed us all in suits. Just a couple of months later, Kyokyung also made a solo debut, releasing the Chinese single Y, which was promoted exclusively in China. And unfortunately, that was the final promotion any member would have under Pristin. After another 9 months of radio silence from Pristin and their label Playtus, the outcome we were all dreading became reality. On May 24th, 2019, Pristin officially disbanded as 7 of the members terminated their contracts with Playtus Entertainment. Of the original 10 members, only Kyokyung, Yehana, and Sungyun remained at the label. About a month later, on July 1st, all of Pristin's social media accounts were shut down along with their fan cafe page. How could a girl group with so much promise, a girl group that nearly sold 50,000 copies of their debut album, disappear like that? Not to mention a girl group with 7 Protus 101 contestants, 2 Protus 101 winners, and so much talent and involvement in their own artistic process. Obviously, there was again rampant speculation thanks to the ambiguity and lack of detail surrounding the group's implosion. 
but there's no better way to find out what happened than going right to the source, one of the members, Kyla Massey. Kyla posted a heartfelt, authentic discussion of several topics about herself and Priston to clear the air once and for all. Here's what she had to say on why Priston stopped creating music and disbanded. You guys can speculate what happened all you want, but ultimately, we all just thought that it was best if we disbanded, and although it is an unfortunate situation, we all take our best memories and our best experience from Priston, and we're just, we're all so very grateful that it happened and we had all of these amazing experiences together and I know that a lot of you guys had expected me to sort of spill the tea, talk about like all of these awful things that happened, but it really, it really wasn't like that. So there it is, the plain and simple truth. The members all mutually agreed that the best path forward for everyone was to part ways. As we've already seen, so many members had exceptional individual talents in writing, composing, the singing and dancing, and it makes sense with such a big group of extremely talented girls that there's likely not enough room for everyone to shine and pursue their own individual passions. And that leads us perfectly to talking about where some of the members are now, because after all, if that was the reason that Priston broke up, it makes sense that the members would be pursuing their own careers. And that they are. Since leaving Priston, Kylo opened her own YouTube channel and last year she released her debut album Watch Me Glow. I was really impressed by this album when it came out, especially since she never truly got time to shine in the group. And if your interest isn't peaked enough yet to go check it out, there's even a Carol Baskin reference in one of the songs. Seriously. Na Young signed an exclusive contract with Sublime Artist Agency in August of 2019, where she's been leading her life as an actress and model ever since. She and joined Suyeon Gang Entertainment to pursue a career in acting and has been in the film City Man and Woman as well as the TV and web drama Trap. Sungyun has been busy making a name for herself writing and composing songs. In fact, she's got writing credits on multiple Fromus 9 songs. Both the B-tracks Fish and Airplane Mode were written by Sungyun. And if that wasn't impressive enough, she also is credited as the writer on Jamie and Jay Park's Apollo 11, as well as the Rain and Chunga collab Why Don't We? Like Na Young, Kyokyung has also been modeling and acting, but she herself has been focused on promoting in China. And of course, former members Roa, Yuha, Eunwoo, and Rena joined OSR Entertainment to debut alongside new member Bada in the agency's first girl group, Hinapia. They debuted on November 3rd, 2019 with the song Drip, but unfortunately due to the economic downturn brought by COVID, they disbanded just 9 months after debuting, and since then they've been focusing on their own careers in modeling. So it's pretty clear to see that the members of Priston did indeed have varied talents, and it absolutely would have been unfair to all of them if they stayed together while sacrificing their own ambitions and journeys in the entertainment industry. That being said, there is still a part of me that selfishly wishes that they had stayed together for longer. I was completely ready to bias them and welcome them into my top tier of girl groups personally, and if you want proof of that, just check out the countdown videos on this channel. Kyla's solo debut was my 17th most listened to song of 2020, while Priston V's Spotlight was 8th. Not to mention that all of Priston and Priston V's title tracks are on my personal top 100 K-pop songs of all time list. Priston was a group full of such talented girls, and though their discography is short, it's so obvious in their music that they poured their talent and hard work into each and every single song. Sometimes there can be such a thing as too much talent, and in the case of Priston, its 10 members truly did shine too bright to be contained in just one group. So what do you think of Priston's decision to split up in 2019? Does part of you wish they stuck together like I do? I'd love to hear all your thoughts on this amazingly talented girl group. As always, thank you so much for watching this deep dive, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss all the great K-pop content coming your way right here at Hallyu. This has been deep dive number 72, Priston.